What stocks do you recommend for somebody who's just just wants to buy and hold forever? We're going to get into three stocks that I think you guys are going to like. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Chaos. My name is Brad. The stock market is crazy and chaotic, and we made it our mission to help you own it. And I got my man, Fat Man Zoom, here with me as well today. We got a really important topic to talk to you about. Fat Man Zoom, why don't you hit him up on what we're talking about? We have the three stocks to buy and hold forever if you're under 25. I'm excited about this, Brad. This may not be for the traditional viewer yeah. because a lot of people are active, but this is um, for somebody a little bit different, and I wanted to to talk to you about that. We're going to get into three stocks that I think you guys are going to like. And make sure you stick around to the end because we have a bonus investment that we're going to throw in there. But why don't you begin with just talking about who is this for? Yeah, so this is for people who uh, don't really know anything about investing. They don't know about trading, but they don't know what to do with their money. And so I think that these particular stocks in general are something that you can just keep adding to as you're looking to save money. And that compound interest on all three of these stocks is going to continue to grow and, and build wealth for you, even if you have no idea what you're doing. So you had a lot of stocks to choose from. Talk about your decision-making process in selecting these stocks. So for me personally, I was looking at things like year-over-year growth. How long have they been around? What's the potential for these stocks into the future? And really, I think that these three are, are going to are, are fit all those criteria. I didn't come up with a specific metric as far as rate of return, but they outperform the stock market in general uh, by a ton. And I'll go into those numbers uh, in just a second. All right. So before we get into it, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want more content like this. But without further ado, here are three stocks. Go ahead, Brett. All right. So my first stock on this is going to be Apple. Now, I think this seems like a pretty obvious one if you're if you already are into investing. Uh, but if you're not, then this might be something that you might not know a whole lot about. Apple year over year average rate of return is around 28 percent over the last 10 years. And if you uh, look at the way that Apple's grown, uh, and the way that they've been able to pivot their business. It's not just about selling phones and, and computers. It's about so much more than that. They've been able to really expand upon their services side of things. So what I mean by that is is the the app side, the store side of things, as far as, you know, if you're looking, if you're a developer, you're, you're building a new uh, platform and you want to sell it on Apple's, uh, in the uh, Apple store, then uh, that's how they're going to continue to generate money. So they're diversifying the, the revenue. They have a ton of cash on hand, which means that they're not going to be going anywhere. They don't have to borrow money in order to continue to move and do well. So this company we know has been around for uh, over four decades. The returns on them are, are awesome. It, they're going to continue to grow. And this is a nice, safe one that's going to give you a really good returns. And then also, not you know, you know you're not going to have to worry about losing all of your money on this either. Apple's not going anywhere. Yeah, it definitely isn't going anywhere. I think what confuses people a little bit is just how long it's been around and worried that... Like, how long can this run continue? And the answer is for a very long time, just because it continues to reinvent itself. When you look at um, the definition of a growth stock, I, I know there's some um, some back and forth about is there growth of value? Make no mistake about it. It's a growth stock. Yeah. And the reality is when you look at it, it's got so much cash in hand and it does have a slight dividend yield. But you mentioned it outperforms the market about two and a half times. That's a growth stock. And so Thinking about the future growth rate, Apple's done a great job at reinventing itself, and it's ex it's going to be exciting to see what it does in the future. EV cars are definitely on there, so look at it for it to make moves like that and continue to grow. Yeah, can you imagine if EV cars came on? Like that would just continue yeah. to be that would be wild. So if you look at Apple, this is a monthly chart. So what that means, if you're not you know familiar with looking at charts like these, each one of these red and green bars represents one month. Of trading for Apple. So I'm going all the way back to just 2007 here, and I'm looking at Apple at $1.80 per share. It's trading at $148 today. So this is something that continues to grow. It's going to continue to grow as well into the future. This is one really good stock that I think is just worth buying and adding to over the next few years until up until retirement, really. So the next stock here might be one that you are familiar with, but might not be familiar with just how much this stock continues to grow, even though this has been a, around almost twice as long as Apple has, and that's Disney, uh, Fat Man Zoom. Disney's been something that's been ever evolving. They're always innovating, and people always kind of equate it to uh, movies, Disney movies. That's something that always comes to fir first thing that comes to mind. But they have the parks that make them so much money, which adds value to the company, thus moving the stock upwards. But let's not forget, Disney Plus has also been a huge uh, movement for them, and that's what's really kind of attracted new investors to the stock as well. 
the parks has been have been their biggest revenue drivers mm-hmm. bringing in their money for over the last several decades and disney plus could uh, be a really good one a really good secondary source of revenue and maybe overtakes them over the, the uh, over time we've talked about disney potentially catching up to netflix as far as streaming subscribers are concerned by the middle of the decade and if that happens then we could see D- disney's uh, the cycle of Dis- we could see the price of disney stock continue to really move uh, upwards and so i think that this is a good one also that's not so volatile they also have a really good growth and they've been around forever they're not going anywhere and the future looks bright for disney as well well if you're 25 it's um almost time to start thinking about kids and why not benefit off of all the money you're going to be putting into disney in general yeah. so this is also a great stock and again very similar in some ways to apple as far as just been along for been around for a long time uh Still a growth stock, still investing. You don't see the the dividend yield just because there is upside opportunity. And I agree with you. When they pass Netflix, this thing is just going to continue to ramp up. Yeah. And Disney parks, recreation, that's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's one of those stocks that have been around forever, but it, it's still underrated, as, as crazy yeah. as that sounds. So I really like Disney here as well. If we take a look at the chart here, now again, each one of these bars is representing one month of trading for, for Disney. This is when Disney started to really ramp up their, their Disney Plus streaming service. And so we can see, obviously, that the stock's been going up a lot higher since then, and it's going to continue to do so. I mean, you look at the history on this thing over the last uh, 10 years, and Fat Man Zoom, this has actually been bringing... A, about 20% year over year returns, which is 150% better than the overall stock market over the last 10 years. So this is a, just another good one, in my opinion, that's worth holding on to and it's going to be worth holding on to for the years to come. Uh, so I really like this one. My next one, I think might not come to anybody's surprise, and that's going to be Tesla. This is one that I think is going to be good for a young person to hold only because it is so volatile. So you have time for it to move, to make its crazy swings uh, leading up into retirement age. But we know the future of this company. And you've spoken to this before on our, on this channel about the growth that we're going to see year over year on Tesla. Is it a little bit more of a question mark when it when you compare it to something like Apple and, Te- uh, and Disney? Of course it is. But I think that we see the writing on the wall here in the future is so bright for Tesla. We just got word that 100,000 vehicles were were ordered from Hertz, uh, a rental company. So more and more staple companies, uh, companies that have been around for a long time are accepting the EV movement. And Tesla is the leader in that. And they're going to continue to be for a really long time. Yeah. One indication uh, was just announced last month in September, the Model 3 was the best selling car best-selling car, not EV, in Europe. Yeah. Right? So the writing is on the wall. We've talked about uh, how optimistic and how bullish they are in earnings. They just released in their last earnings, they talked about um, 50% year-over-year growth in deliveries through 20 million cars. Yeah. We haven't even produced 1 million cars. We haven't delivered 1 million cars. So the growth is going to continue. We have the robo taxis and not to mention the solar, all the other things tech wise that Tesla is going to do over time. They're going to continue to grow. And the greatest part about it is their efficiencies and their ingenuity where they're going to continue to grow their margins while other companies are going to struggle with competing with the profit margin. So Tesla's in a great spot. Tesla's Kathy Woods, $3,000 prediction is very much in play and at some point that might actually be a little bit conservative as crazy as that sounds i agree and three thousand dollars we just saw tesla hit a thousand dollars a share today as of this recording and some might be asking themselves well how much higher can it go and for those the reasons that you pointed out it can go a lot higher and so if it goes to three thousand just like kathy wood was explaining that's still 200 percent from where it's at right now which is crazy to think about the stock when it first started trading was at three dollars a share which is unbelievable but that's what you see when you, you look at companies that are super innovative uh, and they have a really bright future ahead of them we take a look at the chart here again as i had mentioned on all of these other ones uh each one of these green and red uh, bars here represent one month of trading and you can just see how much this has moved uh, i don't want anybody to necessarily be concerned with the movement and think that you've missed the boat here because as we're trying to explain uh you haven't and i think that there's opportunity here still this this is a a, 
a stock that we've talked about, and, and all three of these are ones that you add to on a regular basis, monthly, however you want to break that down, so that you're going to get a, a relatively good average price. Don't worry about where you're getting in it today. Worry about how what it's going to look like in the years to come. I'm glad you brought that up because I just wanted to bring a couple of um, things to consider for those people who are investing in this. And then I'll give the bonus investment, so make sure you stick around for that. Two things I want you to consider, which is dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging is still king. And so it doesn't matter when you get in, if you get in a Tesla at thousand dollars, as long as you have a consistent schedule of you adding money to the account and purchasing these stocks over time, you will win. And the other thing to consider, and probably the most important key to this whole thing is the type of account you're in. If you're in a retirement account, such as a Roth IRA, where um, you, you reap the tax benefits on the growth, you're gonna be in a far better position 25, 35, 45 years from now, as opposed to a general taxable account. That's arguably more important than the stocks you pick because as it grows, that money is going to be growing tax-free. So consider those things. And also, I would advise you to consider our daily watch list. We give a free daily watch list every day. So if you like these stocks, we give similar stocks. Every day we release five stocks that we're watching in the market with the fundamental breakdown. Uh, so go check us out. The link is in the description. Own the chaos.com to get that free daily watch list. Brad, I wanted to bring one bonus investment. All right. Um, I don't think those three would be coming as a, a surprise to some people. And I think they're all great. One that if you want to, that I think has potentially more upside than all those three. And that's Ethereum. My favorite crypto. Uh, yeah. So that's a little bit of a surprise. So not an actual stock, but cryptocurrency in and of itself. Yes. And so with thinking about cryptocurrency, I think there's some concerns around hyperinflation. I think there's just general concerns about the overall market running hot. Crypto, where it currently sits, I believe in the next year has a two and a half, uh, two and a half times upside. I think this thing could potentially get to $10,000 by the end of next year. And so from the long term, I think it's going to be around the thing about whether you, to me, I think it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, do your research, pick the one you like the best. The reason why I like Ethereum best is just the use case, the opportunity for smart contracts, the opportunity for NFTs. As NFTs grow, there's um, going to be more and more adoption. Ethereum benefits off of that. I do also have Bitcoin, so I'm fine with that. But I just think the upside, the growth for Ethereum, if you look at the charts, Ethereum has consistently outperformed Bitcoin over the past year. Um, and so I think it's going to continue to do that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I pulled up the chart here and over the last three stocks, I showed you guys how each bar represented a month. And I broke it down on a weekly basis here only because I feel like it didn't do it justice on the monthly chart, only because Ethereum hasn't been around for that long. So we take a look at this chart here. Obviously, you can see how much this has outperformed, even more so than Disney, Tesla, and Apple all combined in such a short period of time. But uh, nevertheless, this looks pretty good. And, and going back to that the theory of us just saying, hey, you know, dollar cost average again doesn't really necessarily matter. You're not going to try to time the market here and uh try to figure out when's the best time to get in as long as you're in and you have that long time horizon and you're looking at at retirement age as being the time where you would actually reap the benefits of this i think you're going to be in good shape on ethereum as well obviously the most risky or the most volatile of all three of those but still a really good viable option especially if you have a longer time horizon certainly high risk high reward definitely a hedge on what you expect to see in the market in general um but all great investments uh exciting and for the chaos crew we're leaning on you guys, our community. What stocks do you recommend for somebody who's just just wants to buy and hold forever? Throw those stocks in the comment. Let us know. I know there's a lot of good ones out there, and I know you guys have strong opinions on that. <laughs> so I look forward to seeing what you guys put in the comments. That's going to do it for us, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, we'll see you all before the bell. Be Smith, Fat Man Zoom. We out. Bye.